Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Once again, a hearty welcome to each and every one of you to this great episode of Thunder of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us praise and worship the Lord so as to fill our hearts with the Holy Spirit. Let us join the choir to praise and worship the Lord. Lord, we praise you, we glorify you, we adore you. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Everybody, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Oh Lord, you are the mighty Savior. We praise and glorify you, Lord. Today, as we sing to you, let the Holy Spirit come and touch and fill each and every one of us. King of kings and Lord of all glory, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of all glory, hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of all glory, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of all glory, hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, hallelujah. Oh, your Holy Spirit, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of all glory, Hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of all glory, Hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, Hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, Hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of all glory, Hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of all glory, Hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, Hallelujah. Jesus. Prince of Peace, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's praise and worship the Lord. Let the Holy Spirit help us to praise and worship the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. We praise you, we worship you, we adore you, Almighty Father. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Oh God Almighty Father, we, your beloved children, are gathered together before you once again. As we receive the word of God, let us be filled with the Holy Spirit. While St. Peter started his sermon, all those who heard his sermon were filled with the Holy Spirit. And today, the very same Spirit may fill all those people who listen to this program. The Lord led the thunder of God comes to our heart. Let the word of God break our lives so that we may be renewed. We ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit be with us. Be our guide. Be you our helper and we are in your presence. Holy Spirit, thank you Holy Spirit. Praise you Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit The fire of your love, oh, come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts and kindle in us the fire of your love. 
Let's thirst for the Holy Spirit oh, once again. Oh, come Holy Spirit, the thirst fill you. our hearts. Fill the emptiness of our hearts. And give us a new life. The fire of your love, oh, come Holy Spirit, fill our hearts. Kindle in us the fire of your love. Mother Mary, Mother of the Church and our dear Mother, we ask your intercession be with us and guide us. Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed are thou the among us women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world of the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear friends, if we go through the pages of Bible, when we learn about very many characters in the Bible, we see that most of the characters or the people who have failed in their lives were failed only because they couldn't depend on God fully. Though they were raised from nothingness, though they were raised by God, when they reached a certain amount of power and position, automatically they became proud and they left their God. And that was the reason of their utter failure. And even today, Satan haunts the people, the people of God with this weapon by making oneself proud about their lives, about their facilities, their wealth, whatever they may have and make them arrogant. And this is the reason why many people today cannot receive blessing from the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Dear brothers and sisters, in the first letter to Corinthians, chapter 4, we see, for 3 to 7, chapter 3, verse 4 to 7, we see where St. Paul is speaking about this. 1 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 7, we we'll read. For who sees anything different in you? What do you have that you did not receive? And if you received it, why do you boast as if it were not a gift? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. St. Paul is asking to the people or to each and every one of us, what is there in you to boast? What do you think? You are boasting about your body, your figure, your color, your job, your wealth, whatever you have, your beauty, whatever may be. Is there anything to be burst upon? Because they are just mere gift from the Lord. And unless and until He allows you, you will never be able to enjoy it. You may be a very healthy person, but the next moment you can be sick. Only with the grace of God you can remain a healthy person. You may be a very rich, wealthy person. You may have great positions and powers, but unless and until God allows you to enjoy, you will never be able to enjoy them. But still, you know you are nothingness, but still, today you are boasting about yourself. And the word of God says, you have no right to boast on anything because when you came to this world, you came with an empty hand. And be sure, when you have to go back, you have to go, with, go back with an empty hand. And therefore, whatever you have, God has given you, is a gift from God, and accept it as a gift, and be thankful, never ever be proud in your heart. 
The sin of pride is prevalent in each and every one of us. The degree may be a little bit of different, but we all do have this sinful tendency to having uh, pride nature. Hallelujah. 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 When we come to the book of Surah, chapter 10, verse 7 reads in this way. Arrogance is hateful to the Lord and to mortals. And injustice is outrageous to both. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A person one who is arrogant, who is proud, is hateful to both God and man. The very same thing is repeated in the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 5. There, the word of God says, God hates proud people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All those who are proud, God hates them. Again, in the second place, we see if a person is proud, in the first place, he will be hateful for both God and man. We know normally we don't like any proud people. Sometimes we make casual comments on certain people, isn't it? That man he has become very proud. He doesn't mind us. Of course, once upon a time, he was very poor. Once upon a time, he was depending on us for certain things. Today, he has become wealthy, he has got richness, and he doesn't care for us. And sometimes we make casual comments that some people are proud, and we don't like to mingle with them. And that is what the word of God says. A proud person is hateful for both God and man. Hallelujah. 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 In the second place, we see what happens to a person when the pride comes to him. The verse 12 of chapter 10 of Surah reads this way. The beginning of human pride is to forsake the Lord. The heart has withdrawn from its maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the proud comes to your heart, automatically you will slowly you get away from God. Then you don't feel much happiness being with God. You feel it is not of no use. I should depend on my strength. I should depend on my intelligence. And only through my intelligence and power things can come. My hard work is a reason for my, uh, my growth. That is what the, a proud person will think. Hallelujah. 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 friends, we know it is not on our, our merit, but just on God's grace that we live upon. Therefore, word of God says, in a person's heart, if the proud nature or the, the sin of pride comes, what happens? Slowly, slowly, he gets away from godly things. He is more, uh, he is fascinated by the outward world. He is very much attracted to the world. He has no time to spend before the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 This was the very same story of Saul in the book of First Samuel. We know Saul was taken from a very lowly place. He was a boy who was just feeding his father's donkeys. And from them, from, the, from there, God just took him and made him the king. And the first few years of his kingship, he was so adamant, he was so faithful, he was going to, uh, he was always sitting before the Lord, asking his promptings to do, what to do and how to do. And all those years he was blessed. And after a few years, when he became powerful, he started thinking that I am the emperor of this, this place. I need more wealth. I need more uh, uh, kings, uh, kingdom to be added to my country Therefore I don't need God anymore And he is going on his own way And we know the disaster How it came to his life And he was utterly He was uh, just He was collapsed in his life 
Hallelujah. 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 I remember, dear friends, once I went to a prayer meeting and while uh, talking to them after the prayer meeting, a, a, a few of them were telling, actually, the prayer meeting, when it started, they had some uh, 32 people uh, coming together and praying. And that was a prayer, small prayer group. And now, just eight or nine people. I asked, what happened to others? And they were telling me, Father, you know, when the prayer group started, all these people who came, they had their own needs. Some people needed jobs. And they got jobs. And they got secured. They have no time to come for prayer. And uh, one man told me, a person, he, he did not have children for the last 12 years. And he was regularly coming for the prayer meetings, he and his wife both together. And now God has blessed them with a child uh, three years back. And ever since the child was born, they have never come to the uh, prayer meeting. So there he said, Father, this is what has happened. When they came together, they had some need. And when their needs were felt, dear friends, they never bothered about God. In the book of Hosea, chapter 13, verse 6. When I fed them, they were satisfied. They were satisfied and their heart was proud. Therefore, they forgot me. Praise the Lord. See, how terribly, with painful heart, God is telling. I, when they were hungry, I fed them. And when they were filled, they were, their needs were satisfied. Now, they have become very proud. They just forgot me. And this is the pain of God, really. Friends, today just look into your life. How much blessings God has given to you. You, are, you have come up from nothing. God has blessed you with good uh, houses. God has blessed you with the children, wealth, job, cars, whatever you wanted you have. You have got a good reputation. Now, do you think uh, about the, or do you have time to spend before the Lord? Or the prior in your life, list of priority, God is always lagging behind. This is the situation. God is painful about this situation. Hallelujah. 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 So dear friends, this is what happens. When the pride comes to in the heart of a person, he slowly gets away from godly things and he is attracted to the worldly things. And the third disaster comes in the book of um, Zira, chapter 10, verse 13. The word of God says, For the beginning of pride is sin, and the one who clings to it pours out abominations. Therefore, the Lord brings upon them unheard of calamities and destroys them completely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear friends, and once the pride comes and you slowly get back from God and third, the, the disaster is that sin is going to come into your heart. Then, whatever you do, you will have your own justification. I don't go to church because don't you know I have got work. I have no time. You don't know how much struggle I am taking. You have your every justification for that. And that is why when slowly sins will come inside, one after the other, every sin you commit, you feel it is okay. It is the culture of this, this place. And this, everybody does these things. So I have to. There is no other way. And this is how a person is slowly ruining his life. Hallelujah. 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 Therefore, the word of God says, dear friends, in the first Samuel chapter 2, verse 3. Talk no more so very proudly. Let no arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Word of God says, never speak a word of a proud a word of pride from, from, from your heart. Never say, I have gained everything. Never say, this is, this is, I have done it. Or, I have worked hard and I got the money. No, it is a God's blessing. Whatever you do, it is a God's blessing. Of course, you are a rich person today. Thank the Lord. Lord, you made me rich. Thank you. You have given me a job. Lord, I thank you for giving me a job. Because there are so many jobless people around me. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Dear friends, there are three 
different realms of uh, pride the first realm is called a material pride material pride you become proud about your wealth health job family power position whatever you have this is a material pride pride many people are really affected with, with this pride they are proud of their wealth health and money whatever belongings they have that is the first phase first uh, realm the second one is intellectual pride a person thinks i know everything there is no need of teaching anything to me i know about god i know about church i know what this uh, the retreat preachers preach don't teach me anything of course he may be a wise person he may have knowledge but the word of god asks to that such person first corinthians chapter 8 verse 2 the word of god says a person who thinks he knows everything does not know what he ought to know anyone who claims to know something does not yet have the necessary knowledge praise the lord praise you the say lord. i know everything very good you must be knowing about the share market you will be knowing about the most modern technologies you must be knowing about the political situation of course fine but you don't know what is you are ought to know hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. the book of proverbs chapter 9 verse turn says what is the real knowledge and from where the real knowledge comes the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom the fear of the lord is the beginning of the wisdom and the knowledge of the holy one is insight see to know the holy one is a real knowledge how many of you know the real have the real knowledge do you know the about the bible you know do you know about hell and uh, heaven do you know about your last judgment do you know about the teaching of the church if you don't know any of thing these things and you feel that i am a i am an intellectual person no you are have got intellectual pride and it is going to destroy you and the third but not the least is called the spiritual pride hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. dear friends we see in the book of uh, gospel of saint luke chapter 18 we see the two people going to pray in pharisee and the sinner one man was spiritually proud he went forward and he told a oh god you know how i am i am a, a practicing catholic i go to the church every sunday i give uh, so many uh, arms to people i am a, a a person who does a lot of good things he spoke about many things but there was a sinner who was just just standing behind he was not even able to lift up his eyes to god he said lord i am a sinner please please forgive me and god says the sinner went back to went back home more justified than this uh pharisee let's stand up let's open our hands close our eyes oh lord today we know we are having a proud nature we boast about so many things which are mere gifts from you we have to nothing to own as ours but still lord we become very proud out of because of this proud pride nature often we don't even give enough respect and value for your your things we don't give enough importance to our spiritual life lord help us open my heart let us ask the holy spirit to fill our hearts purify my heart me from within and make me holy purify my heart cleanse me from my sins deep within refine us by you my heart's one desire is to be holy set apart for you lord i 
choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, ready to do your will, ready to do your will. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tanto mago sacramento veneri macaruni. Et anticum documento Novo cedere tui Preste fede supplemento Sansum de effectui Genitori, genitorque Laos et jubilatio Salus on a virtus coque, sit in benedictio. Postentia butroque, compass it laudatio. Lord Jesus, today we pray for grace to be humble in our day-to-day -day activities. You humbled yourself and washed the feet of the disciples and you told us, go and do what I did. You came to this world not to serve, not to be served, but to serve. You came to this world not to be served, but to serve. Yes, Lord. There are certain times in our lives when we are very proud about ourselves. Sometimes we are proud about our physique. We are proud about our talents, our family, our jobs. And there are so many things of which we are proud of. But we know for sure, unless and until it is granted by you, we have nothing of our own. Today we ask the Lord, send the Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit may humble us all so as to serve our fellow men. Our Lord, today one of the main sins that is prevalent in each and every one of us is this pride. Sometimes we are intellectually pride and proud. Sometimes we are materially proud about our well-being, our wealth. Sometimes we are spiritually proud. Lord, we ask the Holy Spirit. Unless and until you humble yourself like a little child, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Oh Lord, we ask the Holy Spirit to make us humble. Let us praise and thank the Lord and invoke the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus, we praise you, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Jesus, we adore you, Lord Jesus, pour out your spirit, pour out your spirit on me, everybody. Jesus, pour out your spirit, pour out your spirit, oh, Jesus. pour out your spirit on me. Raising the hands up to heaven and sing louder. Pour out your spirit, pour out your spirit, pour out your spirit on me. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, pour out your spirit, pour out your spirit, pour out your spirit on me. 
as we are getting ready for the blessings let us raise the hands up to heaven ask the lord to fill us with the spirit virtue of humility let us praise and thank the lord hallelujah 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 oh lord jesus jesus humility lord jesus to have the gift of the virtue of humility lord make us humble lord oh lord give us courage enough to serve our neighbor hallelujah 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 Let's praise the Lord. Divine praises, blessed be God. Blessed, blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.